So my name is, is Cindy Woodland, and I'm going to tell you about the Applied Clinical Pharmacology program, except where it's not moving, so let me just get it there. All right. So this is, again, a two-year course-based stream within our MSc program. We offer a thesis-based stream as well at both the MSc and the PhD levels. And in our program, I'm just having a bit of a delay here, but uh, we, we are not aware of another program that, that is quite like this in the world. We have a variety of courses that you take. You're required to take eight credits. So we provide you with a foundation in pharmacology. And you don't need to have a background in pharmacology to take our program. You do generally need a, a background in the life sciences at the undergraduate level, but you don't need to have learned anything about pharmacology at that point. So we have six credits that are required credits providing you with foundational knowledge, not only in pharmacology, but also in some of the skills. We're really looking at building professionalism and teaching you about clinical research. Uh, so we have very hands-on applied skills. We even put in a laboratory course, not to get you to master pipetting or anything like that, but to be really familiar with the techniques that are are used so that if you are working in industry in the clinical setting, you understand how some of this uh, data moved up, up the way. Our program is tailored to you in that we do have some elective courses you can take, and depending on what your career aspirations are, we try to have you taking courses where you have research projects, and we'll talk a little bit about a practicum opportunity, that really do allow you to experience what you might want to pursue out in the real world. So we do have a required research project. It's fairly extensive, so you're getting a very robust research experience within our program um, that is a course-based program, but we give you an opportunity to get your feet wet and really learn about uh, the research side. You get to pick where you do your research, so again, we try to get you to follow uh, what your interests are. Or sometimes it might be that, you know, I'm trying to decide between these two things and I want to make sure that it's not this one in order to move forward with another. So you work with our faculty and it's a great opportunity to have some real mentorship and uh, some one-on-one -on -one and team-based uh, learning in that opportunity. We keep our programs small because there are a lot of oral presentations, a lot of teamwork, and uh, we want you to have an opportunity to get to know us and our, our faculty. One of the other elective opportunities is to participate in a practicum, and I'll talk a little bit about that uh, in a few minutes. So the types of students who are looking at taking our program are students who are looking at working in an area related to pharmacology or clinical research and uh, their application. Some people are interested in clinical trial design, drug development. Uh, some people have an interest in regulatory affairs. And um, really, you can move into a variety of different areas. Many students are interested in moving into the pharmaceutical in or related industries, biotech, uh, etc. And uh, other students want to work in clinical research centers, maybe at one of the hospital sites. Uh, certainly Toronto's rich with that, but around the world there are opportunities there. Some people are interested in consulting. I'll come back and talk a little bit more about this. But in order to prepare you for those types of careers, we're really looking beyond giving you just that foundational knowledge, but we're also developing your critical thinking skills. That's really key in our program. We make you do a lot of writing. You, perform, you have to write conformed and sent for. Uh, informed consent forms and clinical trial applications and grant applications and things that really get you to apply um, some of those practical skills as well as doing a number of oral presentations both individually and in, in teams. And we're really trying to build your confidence in the area um, and to build your experience with research. And we also offer a lot on the career development side of things. So we work on professionalism, we'll even work with you on preparing for interviews and having your CV uh, or your resume in order to best give you that opportunity to land the career of your choice. And we provide a lot of networking opportunities to find out what is out there because it is such a diverse field and, and there's so many opportunities in applied clinical pharmacology. If I had to say the best part of our degree, I think I'd have to say it's that experience, and you'll find that across our programs. I think many of us who uh, are a little older in the room and are reflecting back, it's a great time in your life, and I hope you really take advantage of that time. And the uh, University of Toronto is very focused on giving you a great graduate experience. You'll also find that your social network will grow. And we have in our program, one of the benefits of being small is that you really get to know people and you build a, you know, it's basically the ACP family. 
Uh, and that's proven really helpful to the students even after they graduate because the networking that occurs um, is really a, a strength and it's, it's nice to see people come back who are connecting in, in different ways in different countries um, around the world. Uh, obviously here at U of T we've got the reputation of the University of Toronto and um, our graduate programs, but uh, we're really trying to get you to realize that we're teaching transferable skills. And so it's really about what you take and what you do with uh, the tools that we give you. There are a lot of career opportunities. I've shown you some of the places that our students do placements. They have an opportunity of doing a four, eight or 12 month placement. Uh, in this program, and a number of our students like to do this again to try out what's out there. I couldn't fit everything onto the screen, obviously, but uh, some people like to go into big pharma, some people want contract research organizations, some people want government agencies, some people want consulting. Uh, and so our students have done really diverse things, both here in Canada, but also abroad. Some people want to go to California because they like the weather in California and they want to try that out. Uh, we have people who come as international students and some want to stay here in Canada and some actually want to go back home and work. And so we've had people come and uh, they're now working, for example, in the pharmaceutical industry in, an, in another country. Um, as far as the application process goes, um, we do have across our graduate program a minimum to apply, but we look really uh, wholly at, at you as a person and uh, looking at um, a variety of different aspects. It's not just your GPA. We are encouraging you to take biochemistry or physiology in your undergraduate program if you still have that opportunity. It makes it a little bit easier at the graduate level, uh, but those are not required to enter our program. So what is the application process? Obviously you have to have official transcripts and uh, include if you've done more than one university, for example, if you studied more than one place, please include those uh, as well. We are um, asking that you additionally submit your final grades in this course-based program. Sometimes people come for an interview. We want to just remind you um, that to, to give us the final grades as, as well uh, throughout your program. Uh, References, we encourage you to have academic reference letters. So uh, if you have academic reference letters, that's um, what we're looking for as opposed to the, you know, your next door neighbor saying you're doing a great job at shoveling the snow. However, if you are uh, in a situation where you've had some work experience or you've had some volunteer experience that you feel would really enrich your application, please feel free uh, to let us know that. And again, with the statement of interest in CV, it does give you an opportunity to explain your individual situation. We read through all of those uh, and it gives us a feel for um, your, again, your complete package. So you don't need to, to worry if there was, you know, a bad course in year two in organic chemistry or something like that. Uh, we, we do look at all of those things together and then that uh, can qualify you for your interview and we, we move on from there. So our information, uh, our website is here if you have further information. For international students, our deadline is quite early, January 1st, so we need you to get thinking right now about applications. If you're an international student, the domestic students have a little bit longer um, to apply and not until May 1st, but uh, I have brought a former graduate of our program along, so if you have any questions um, of either of us, we're going to stick around and address those for you. Thank you.